Hi guys, so today we have so much fun new stuff to try out. Now, some of the stuff is just new to me, some of it is just new in general. I have had this pile of stuff from all different brands that I have been wanting to try for a while but have not found the right moment, so I decided to just take all of it and we're just going to play with all of this today. I most definitely will not be using all of this on my nails, but in general, I just want to try it all out, take a look at it, I feel like this is something that I like to watch, just, you know, all kinds of new stuff all in one video. So we're gonna do that today. I feel like I don't even know where to start. So I'm going to start with what I think has been most requested, and that is these solid gels. Now I have solid gels from Model 1s, these are in palettes, and then I also have some from Vetsy. I got these palettes from Amazon, and I got five. <laughs> And solid gel polish isn't necessarily new. I've seen Vetsy do it for a really, really long time, but just for some reason I never got any. And now I've been seeing a lot of companies do solid gel polish palettes now. So let's just pick a random one to open first. We'll just go with this one. I haven't looked at the shades. Let's see. Ooh. So we are getting a brush. That's nice. I grabbed a bunch of brushes out and cleaned them because I thought I was going to need them. <laughs> For some reason, this is smaller than I thought. I thought it was going to be like the size of this whole thing. Okay, are you ready? I'm really excited to see these. Water droplets or bubbles pond are normal. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, that looks really pretty. I feel like it just looks really almost like satisfying. It's all so perfect. I tried to get a variety of different palettes just cause I feel like this is such a good way to have a lot of different colors without taking up a ton of space. As someone with way too much gel polish, it would be nice if they could all be condensed like this, kind of like how makeup artists depot all their stuff. Okay, we got a nice nude one here. It looks just so pretty. They also flip down really nicely. Ah, okay. So it does seem that these pop out, which I think actually could be nice. I think this one's gonna be the best if I remember. <sighs> this is ruining the satisfying part of it. Fit. The best definitely got saved for last. I love this one, especially the pastel version. So I'm just going to personally pick a couple that I like and let's do some swatching. So we are supposed to use a base coat first so we can do that. All right, I'm gonna ruin the perfectness. I'm excited to see how these do. I wonder if this one's supposed to be like a transparent jelly. Okay, I got some more. I felt like that wasn't enough. Oh my gosh, that's actually a color changing one. I did not even know that. I'm sure it said on the listing. I probably just was not paying attention. I do just have to say, I feel like I used a lot for that one little swatch. I wonder how much I would use for like 10 fingers. Do you know what I mean? At this length. I feel like it didn't go on super smooth either, but maybe it's just cause this one has glitter. So let's try one without glitter. All right, let's try the blue. See if that's any better. Mm. I feel like I'm not having many comments, but kind of in a bad way. Like, I just feel like that is so transparent. I think this looks better because my background is blue, but look at how transparent that is. Like, hello? Let's cure it and we'll do a second coat. I feel like I'm using so much of it already. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. This one just looks like it goes maybe a little bit more clear. I don't know how much that one changes. Let's try again. Okay, I don't know honestly how I'm feeling about this. I am genuinely very surprised. I thought that these were gonna be like ultra pigmented and I feel like I'm also using a lot of product. Like that was just for this one nail. And I also thought it'd be much darker. I mean, I don't know. Is there something I'm missing? <laughs> Let's dive into this neon palette. The instructions don't say to wipe off the sticky layer, but I'm going to just because I feel like the product is not gliding on it. Also, I could have sworn, I have no idea what company or where exactly I saw this, but I could have sworn that I saw a company say that you needed to like wet your brush with their gel palette. My brush would be technically like damp now because I cleaned it after the last shade. So let's see if any of that helps any better okay that seems better right that seems a lot better that would be a little bit more like what i would expect 
one coat cured for that one so much better. Put my hand under even. See, like a lot better. Let's try some of the other ones. Maybe it's just that one palette. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Let's try a nude then maybe. I wiped off the sticky layer of this one also, but it still feels like it's having a harder time spreading like the blue and that like glitter color. It's not as pigmented as I thought it would be either. Maybe I just need to like thicker. Hmm. I know that we're like really zoomed in, but honestly it looks better on camera than it does in person. Let's see about the gold. I wasn't really expecting this one to be like opaque or anything. I was just curious. It's all the different colors, the gold. It looks okay. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm really not super impressed with these swatches. I feel like they're a bit streaky and definitely not as pigmented as I thought they were gonna be. I thought the whole thing with these palettes is that they were like ultra pigmented. Thankfully, I do have some other solid gel to try. So let's try that and see if it's me or if it's just these palettes specifically. I feel like the green was nice. That would definitely look super even if I were to do another. This one ended up okay. Blue, no. This one, only one coat, so probably look okay with two. The glitter, you know, it's glitter. I also feel though that these are showing a lot of imperfections that I feel like regular gel would normally cover up because it is thicker, but because you're smoothing this down with a brush, it like brings out imperfections. I don't know, let's bring out some other stuff. So thankfully I actually have all of the solid gels, I don't know about all, but I have a lot of the solid gels from Vetsy to try out. So I know that Vetsy did solid gels quite a while ago. I don't know if they were the first, but I've definitely seen them. So I'm gonna pick out a couple colors I wanna use. This one over here is named Neon Moon. Sounds like I would like that. Let's, you know, just grab a blue also. The ingredients in case anyone wants to see. We can grab this dark one, Illusion, and this yellow. I wanna try Neon Moon first. Very pretty. This one said also to put a base coat. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some of this. This one's a bit stickier. You can see it's like stringing a little bit after. So that's a little different. And then it said if it's not spreading like you want it to, to wet your brush with a little bit of base coat. So not alcohol, but base coat. And it did say that in like in the instructions. This one seems like just like a clear top coat. Seems like a blue yellow shift, but I feel like it's pretty smooth. Obviously it's a little hard to tell just being a glitter. These are definitely different formulas for sure. 100%. This is one coat. I feel like because it does have that little bit of, I don't know what other words, like elasticity, where it like strings along a little bit. I feel like it levels itself out a little bit, which is nice. Here is as far as how opaque it is with the first coat. We will do a second coat. So here's this one. This one's pretty dark inside the container. It's a really pretty color though. So I will say that I don't like how these ones smell. It's almost, I don't even know how to describe it. It's almost like a really bad chemically smell, like chemical and cat litter mixed together. That's how it smells. I don't like it, but I guess I also don't have to like put it so close to my face. All right, last one we're going to test. I accidentally got some blue on it right there, but here's the yellow one coat. Okay, so here are the swatches for those. I so far think these ones are actually a lot better. I'm really sad to say because the other ones are obviously really pretty. So I'm just going to super quickly so we don't spend this whole video doing this. I'm going to go try a couple things with the Model 1's gel palettes. That way we can make sure that it wasn't just me. I'm gonna try to use base gel to wet my brush a little bit with them and just see if we can get them to work a little bit better. And I will update now. Okay, update. So these are all the model ones, ones from the palettes. And I think it's kind of hit or miss for these ones. This is from that neon palette, the nude palette. And then let me show you which one this is. This is this shade. And I know that you have to do multiple coats and stuff. I just usually expect for one so dark to just be a little bit better. I did start using the base coat to make the gel glide a little bit easier and that definitely helped it be a little bit more even. But I don't know, I think, like I said, hit or miss. I think it's good that you get a variety in these ones, but I don't know. I feel like some are really pigmented and then some of them aren't, so I don't know. That's it, I guess. <laughs>
No solid conclusion. All right, next up, something super exciting is McCart came out with acrylic, both dip, all-in-one, and regular acrylic. I haven't used these specific ones yet, but honestly, like, I don't know, a year and a half ago, they sent me some samples <laughs> to just try out. And so I have used it before, but not, not these exact ones. So I do know that it's been being worked on for a really, really, really long time. The only thing I'm confused about is most of these look like the same color to me. Like same, 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 I don't know. They also just came out with a bunch of new glitters to kind of pair with it. Very pretty. Mine have these terrifying sticks at the end because they sent them in like a flower arrangement to me and uh, the sticks aren't coming off. Nope. I'm not even gonna try anymore. So I'm gonna open some of these and we'll do some swatches. I see a black here, definitely gonna use that one. This one has some glitter I can see. We'll definitely use that one. Okay, and then honestly, more or less, these ones all look like the same color. So I'm just gonna grab like, I don't know, this one. And then we have, I think this one's like a nude and a pink. We'll open up the pink. I know you're shocked. This one's a dip powder. So I kind of got ahead of myself and I just started swatching like everything and mixing the glitter and stuff like that. So here's this one with the glitter. Very pretty. And then this black is really good. The clear. This is the dip one that I just put on as acrylic. Worked fine. White. The other glitter. And then the pink. So very pretty. Very exciting. Honestly, I think my favorite might be this one. <laughs> And maybe this one. This glitter is really pretty. But I have one more thing from Macar that I really want to try today. And I will probably actually end up using in my design because I've been dying to use it. And it is the blooming gel. Now this stuff is so cool. I've seen so many people use it to make like a turtle design or like a snake design. It looks really cool. So I really want to try it. Since we have so many of these swatch sticks already having a color on them, I figure we might as well use them as a test for the blooming gel. Just as I thought I couldn't pack any more into this video, I decided I'm going to try to use the new spring collection from Kira Sky, the gel polishes. So I'm going to use these as the gels that we're going to use with the blooming gel. I know, why do I do the absolute most? I have no idea. Kira Sky's gels are generally a bit thinner, so that's why I thought that they might be good for these designs to mix in with the gel. I don't know if thinner is better for it, but you know. Ooh, this one's so pretty. It's like a dusty pink, but I, I could almost look like an orangey. I don't know, I really like that one. I do really like Kira Sky's brushes though. I feel like their brushes on their gel polishes are very loose, like they're very flowy. They're not stiff. That one's really pretty too, very muted spring. So to use the gel, it says that we put on a layer and this stuff is a lot thicker than I thought it would be. So we got a nice even layer on there, cool. And then we don't cure it and we add in some gel with a like dotting tool or a small brush and we'll see what happens. Okay, okay. You know what, that is looking pretty cool. And then you can wait until you have the spreading effect that you like and then you can cure it. I actually like that. I feel like it can make like a simple design look really cool. I feel like it's spread out to all that it can, so I'm going to cure that. I might have done a little bit too thin of a layer for the effect I was wanting. I was wanting a little bit more spreading. I think it looked good, but I feel like it could be even more. I imagine the thicker the layer, the more it's gonna spread. There we go. For this one, ooh, I don't know what color. I'll do a pink. And I'm going to just do like maybe like a little bit of a marble. That looks pretty cool. See if we can add in maybe like another color. Ooh, I could have so much fun with that. I feel like I could do this for hours. It mixes so nicely. I'm just messing around at this point. I feel like I know it works. I just gotta, you know, for science, just do a few more. That is so cute. I wanna do a design over this black acrylic. So I'm just going to put a base coat on first. I don't know if that matters a ton. But I feel like it might a little bit just so that the blooming gel has a surface to already glide over. Acrylic's not, you know, very smooth by nature. Here is the blooming gel. Okay, I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm just gonna kind of go with a little bit of like a random design. Okay, so my dinner just got here. So I'm just curious. We're just testing stuff out. I'm gonna leave this and just see what happens if I leave it for like an hour or two to just bloom more, I guess. Let's just see. I'll just leave it. Like right here. Okay, see you later. 
All right, here we are. So this wasn't necessarily like a couple hours more, like 40 minutes, but it still looks really, really cool. I feel like almost any design you do in it could be really cool. Okay, one more blooming gel design just for good measure. Except I'm curious if it would work if we use this. Okay, honestly, not really. It could spread out, but it really just doesn't seem like it's going to. I think thinner gel for this for sure. All right, this one's probably not the prettiest one, but whatever. Once again, for um <clears throat> science, I am going to do the same thing that I did with the first nail and just see the difference of just doing that sort of method with a base gel. This is a really thin base gel, really, really thin. This one's like really liquidy, but just see what the difference in using the blooming gel versus just like a regular base coat with the same method. Just cause I'm really curious. Just gonna pretty much do the same thing that I did with the first one. It's kind of like bloop, bloop. Trying to give it some time to spread if it's gonna. But here is the difference. So the blooming gel versus just a base coat. This isn't even cured yet. You can definitely see the difference. I feel like the base gel, it does sort of spread out, but it really doesn't feather or do like the blooming, you know, action, if you will. You could probably definitely do some cool designs still just in base gel, but I definitely see the difference between that and the blooming gel. Here are our designs with the blooming gel. I actually love this stuff. If you are gonna put an order into McCart, get this stuff. I feel like normally I wouldn't recommend something so like you need this, but I feel like it's gonna be a really versatile product. I do have an affiliate code and it's my name, Emily Susanna for 15% off. But even if you don't use my code, you can use someone else's. Just make sure you get your discount. But I love these. These are so cool. I love this one and this one especially. I think this one's my favorite. It just looks like, I don't know, light mm, cotton candy, but spring. I also really like this one. I don't know, they're really cool. Next up, we have some insane new tips from Enail Couture. These are, are you ready? 10XL, got the 10XL square and the 10XL stiletto. So I think this is as long as he's gonna do them. I think, I don't know, but these are pretty long. I've had these for a while and I feel like I've just been kind of like looking at them. I feel like they're just a little intimidating. So I'm gonna open up the square. The square is my personal favorite shape from Eno Couture. They fit my nails really, really well. Look at how big these little baggies for these are. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. I feel like these are crazy, but I love them. I feel like they might fit okay too. The apex on them is really high as it kind of has to be. Wow. I feel like it's like a little mini sculpture or something. So I was thinking about trying these today, but I feel like for me, it doesn't bother me if I have two completely different designs or two different shapes or even sort of two different lengths, but it does bug me if I have two extremely different lengths, like that's double. Let me know if you guys want a video of just me doing these nails and then also wearing them for a couple days and just, you know, showing that experience. I'm usually pretty good after a couple days with these and stuff, but I know that some people don't. And I feel like at this point, I could probably actually give some tips for some longer nail wears for just how to do stuff without, you know, using your fingertips. Let me know. These are really cool. And of course there's a stiletto version. These ones, I wonder how the difference between these ones and I think the five XLs were pretty long if I remember correctly. Okay, the apex on these ones isn't as high and I actually think these ones might actually fit my nails better. Wow. That's weird, usually the square ones do, but these ones might actually be better. I was not expecting that. I had to go grab a bag of one of the 5XL ones just cause I'm curious about the difference in the size. So I felt like they looked pretty similar. So these are the 5XL coffin. I don't remember when I used these. I think it was for a Halloween set. Okay, so the 5XL coffin is almost as long as the 10XL stiletto. Then I have Maximum Coffin. Maximum Coffin, 5XL Coffin, 10XL Stiletto. I feel like, I don't know, however many years ago when long nails weren't quite as just like normal to see, I don't think I would have thought that there would have ever been tips that are so long and easy to put on. I literally would have never thought that this would have been made like ever since we're on the new Enil Couture stuff. This stuff I wanted to talk about because this is a very similar version 
version of the solid nail glue from Vetsy. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I ended up having like a little bit of irritation from that stuff. And I tried this stuff once, just very briefly when I was, I don't know, I don't remember what I was doing, but I know I just tried it on like a nail or something like that and I really liked it. And then I found out that it's also HEMA free and hypoallergenic. So, if you looked at that Vetsy solid nail glue and you're like, mm, no, looks nice, but probably shouldn't chance it. Maybe try this stuff. I still am not touching this stuff, obviously, with my bare skin, but I like the way this one worked more. So I did want to just mention this stuff because when I used it the first time, I didn't realize that it was supposed to be like hypoallergenic and stuff like that. And then when I was just reading one of the posts, I saw that it is, and I thought that was really cool. So there's a clear and a pink for this. Last but not least, the last new thing that I've had that I wanted to try, these nail pens. It's supposed to act like a, just an actual pen, not just like a, you know, nail squeezy tube with polish in it. It's supposed to be like a pen that you can like write on and draw with on your nail. And I got these from Amazon. I am so curious about these, but do you see that? Here, look. You're like, no, you haven't shown me yet. Look at that. It's like a little tip. That looks so cool. I don't know if it's just like a regular pen or if it's a specialty formula, but the fact that we can just like draw on our nails now with a pen, I swear stuff just keeps getting cooler and cooler. So I think that we'd probably have to have like a nice like matte top coat on there, but I just have a acrylic from earlier. This has not been top coated, filed or anything like that, but I figured that the surface would be pretty like not too smooth. So we can just like try it. So I don't know what I should draw. I didn't see this part um maybe i'll just like redraw what's currently on my nails this is supposed to be an alien nope that's not so apparently these um pens work but they don't magically make you a good drawer so i think i need a refund immediately i was never promised to be a good drawer but that's really cool I do remember at some point, someone commented and said that they did just like end up drawing on their nail with like a regular pen or some type of pen like this. So it could be that's not even really anything special, but I feel like it took us a little too long to, you know, like figure that out. Oh wow, this red. I don't know what Deadpool looks like, but I'm just gonna pretend that's what that is. Okay, the red, let's see the blue. Oh yeah. That is so cool. I feel like you could do some really fun designs, like maybe some like graffiti type looking nails with these. So many of you are like really good artists too, so I'm sure you can make it look so much better and not like a um, toddler. Scribbled on it. Sorry to all the toddlers. So very cool. Okay, so I actually have a time limit right now. You guys will see this video in a bit, but right? I have an hour and 14 minutes until tomorrow. Do you know what tomorrow is? It's my husband's birthday and I wanna make the day good. So I need to be done with my nails by then. So I got an hour and 14 minutes. Okay, so I know I've talked about that the square tips from Enio Couture are my favorite, but there's a certain length that I don't know at this exact moment because I was being an absolute maniac and instead of just opening the bag, like normal, I cut it open, apparently. Who does that? Apparently I do. So that was great. But I'm gonna use these square ones. Like I said, having the shape on different hands really does not bother me, it's the length. And these are pretty similar. Wow, oh see, that looks nice. I see, I love it. And like, if you have flat nail beds, these ones just fit it so well. Like I can put these ones on with glue because they are so flat essentially. So yeah, we're gonna put these ones on and definitely use the blooming gel. I'm gonna clean off my nails. I feel like I still even almost wasn't able to fit all of the new stuff in this video somehow. I feel like because sometimes I don't focus on products, I'm more on like topics and then the new products just like slip me by, but I really want to use them because I love stuff. So I have decided to use the bubblegum gel because I need to get these nails on quick and I know that this is quick. So I'm just going to scoop some like so. It's probably bit too much and then I'm just going to scoop that on and I'm just gonna push it a little bit up just to fill in the space and then I'm just going to put it on and for the most part there we are it stays pretty good I'm going to cure it but I probably could get away with putting it on all of my fingers and then curing it okay so it managed to take me literally forever to get this far and I have approximately 13 minutes now so it's gonna be the fastest nails I've literally ever done in my life not really. Well, maybe. I don't know. Fastest design for sure. So I have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work. But I'm going to use this palette. And I'm just going to take some scoops. 
scoops. And I'm gonna kind of just put them on in random streaks, more or less because I'm gonna do the blooming gel on top. So I kind of think maybe just kind of like brush strokes type of design. So it's not necessarily gonna be random because underneath the design with the blooming gel, it'll kind of just look like, I guess almost like tie dye maybe, I don't know. Okay, let's do some this color and get places we hadn't gotten yet. Uh-oh, it's thundering now. Okay, I'm gonna cure that. All right, I know this looks questionable, but my hope is that it looks good once we put the blooming gel on top. Okay, you know what? I feel like I could be going somewhere with this if it was a little less messy. Okay, hopefully you guys can see my vision for these. So I know that these are a bit uneven, but the blooming gel is really thick, so I feel like that should level everything out. And hopefully my idea looks good. And I am wiping the bottom part off so it doesn't get too chunky. I think it looks okay. Okay, let's do the rest. See, I feel like that looks okay. Like it definitely covered up any wonky spots. I'm gonna put my top coat on now. I feel like these could look really good matte, but I'm gonna do them shiny today. I know all of everything's so dry and crusty. I'm just doing this really quick. And here are the finished nails. Thank you guys so much for watching this very chaotic and unorganized video. I'm gonna try to get back to being a little bit more organized with my videos. Hopefully I will be. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this a like if you enjoyed this video. Occasionally I have just a bunch of stuff that piles up that I really wanna try, especially with all these really cool new products coming out. So by liking you do tell me that you want me to do more of these when I can. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.